Come on, bro. Oh my god, ain't he like 22? 20? Nah, he like 27, but still. He, he young as fuck. He, 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 he was bald headed like at 23. Then he got been to bought some hair. Right. And then, <laughs> then, the hair, then the hair ran away. But you got money. Just go and get a hair transplant. Man, I don't, Just might, cut it off. It might not work because think about it. But he's 22. Like, the brown hairline fell off in the game. He went and got pulled. No, no, he just, no. he in the game. He just dropped in the third quarter. <laughs> Pick Stop. Up, bro. <laughs> Stop. Oh my God. LeBron said he is not letting it go Mm-mm. ever. You need to. Just know. I need to too, but you're he not. Oh, you oh, you going to always oh, wear hats. Yeah. So no. you go, you the nigga in church with a hat. Facts. All colors. What kind of Why hat? Why do y'all do that? Why do y'all just I gravitate towards a hat? Been. No, you I ain't never been to hat. church. No, I've been, I ain't been to church for a minute to wear a hat though. I was about to say, nigga, we nah. is taking you Sunday. Mm. Nah, I've been wearing hats so long. Like, people don't even know I got hair sometimes. I've been wearing hats since, like, 06 straight. All my Facebook pictures got me with hats on. Really? You might get, like, two, three pictures with that So hat. why don't you just cut it off and just rock a body? I just started going, like, my shit just started thinning. But nah, I got I got five more haircuts left. When you get, when you get back, when you go back into your, uh, into your job, you ain't going to be able to wear that hat? Well, I can't. Oh, you? We were, they wear hats. Yeah, I wear hats all the time. They wear really? pajamas. What are you yeah, talking about? What are you talking about? They give me lit. <laughs> <laughs> they wear pajamas. Oh, that is horrible. Caps, caps, you know what I'm saying? That's horrible. Fish a hat. No, I, look, I be in the hat it up. Hat it up. You're going to have to grow up one day. You can't wear fitted hats all your life. As long as the new era putting the motherfuckers out, keep buying them. <laughs> I wear it when I go out like that. You gonna have um, a Kango New Era? Nah, I might. <laughs> how I fly it is. I don't know. I'm gonna grow up one day. You, you know? gonna have to. Yeah, I mean, we gonna talk about growing up and you know what I'm saying. When this, when this, this special person in your life be like, babe, take that head off. <laughs> you keep it on during sex? Oh, you keep socks on too? I gotta know. First of all, <laughs> maybe I didn't keep socks on, but. I ain't never had no head on while, while fucking. Um, I ain't Mr. Marcus. <laughs> you know what? Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> Two dope girls. Yeah, it's a podcast. Two dope girls. Yeah, we speaking all facts. Two dope girls, yeah, we got it, just relax. Two dope girls, hit like, subscribe, back. Two dope girls, and we only never slack. Two dope girls, and we got each other back. Two dope girls, and we coming for the cash. Two, two dope girls, and we all about a bag. Two dope girls, dope the dope girls. All right. Guys, welcome mm-hmm. back. Ooh, what episode? Welcome back. Shit. I don't know. We Four just five. we just happen Four to be five. in this bitch. Yes. We just happen to be in this bitch. The intro jamming too. Thank yes. you. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate Thank that. you. How was your week, girl? It was. I don't even know. I don't even know what I did. Per usual, but I All mean, I'm just happy to be here. How about you? Same. Ripping. Running. Yeah. I don't know what day is when. I forgot yeah. today was Friday. Somebody in the store was like, "Today's Monday." And they were joking around with the person they were talking to. And, and I really you was had like, to question wait, myself. Whoa. Like, was it, is it Monday or is it Friday? Wait. Yes, you got to record Thursday. tonight. I know. <laughs> but yeah, I just had a regular week. Yeah, me too. Me too. Hey, y'all. We thankful to have y'all back chilling with us, vibing with us. You are at Two Dope Girls. We about to get it this Friday night. And we have a special guest with us. Oh, yeah. Oh, evening. yeah. Mr. Mr. Bad Therapist himself. Am yes. I special? I'm special? Yeah. yeah. Anybody oh. come yeah. on this platform is special. Absolutely. I'm Tell them about yourself. Well, I am the Bad Therapist. I go by the name of Hustle Porter, a.k.a. Problematic Donnell. <laughs> uh, I got a podcast. It's like, um, it's really toxic, but it's fun. You yeah. know, it's a safe space. You know, um... What makes it a safe space? A toxic safe space. Because yeah. it's yeah. like... It makes Sounds it, fun. <laughs> what makes it a safe place because, first off, we don't use no cameras. So anybody can say what they want to say without people matching their, you know, their action with their faces. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we have no judgment zone. So we talk about anything and nobody can look at you crazy on my show. You know, It's like therapy. Yeah. You know, so that's why I ran with it. You know, It's fire, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Get it off your chest. Get man. it off your chest. Yeah. Make for good conversation. We talk about everything, so it's like it ain't just 
one particular um, genre we stay in or anything like that, so it make it even better. So anybody coming, you got someone to talk about what's good or bad, lusty, I'm whatever, lusty. anything. I like it. I like it. Well, I, we I thank you I've for. I've never heard the word lusty. I lusty. know it sound. It, <laughs> it's sound erotic. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> sound like it. It should be on the title of a porn porn show. Right. Lusty. lusty, Lusty Monroe. Yeah, Listen something. To my show, you'll see why. Yes, <laughs> yes, we love it. We love it. Okay, normally when we have a guest, we um we go ahead and we we have a game. So this time we're gonna do like a little quick fire game. We're gonna shoot questions out to you. And you just give us the your 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 truthful, honest answer at the top of your head. Off the top of your dome. Can I say something real quick? Sure. Oh. I had thought y'all could play Never Have I Ever. You got you thought so, we got ready. So I for it. Got the- no. <laughs> no. No. You can't uh, be ready. No. All right, babe. Gotta be quicker than that. Got to. Y'all got me. <laughs> you wanna go first, LaDonna? Or you want me to go first? You go first. Okay. Kanye or Drake? Drake. Why? New so, Drake or I mean, uh, I old like Kanye it. or new Kanye? Yeah. Kanye died to me, like, when he started wearing a MAGA hat, MAGA hat, whatever. So I don't, oh. I don't listen to him no more, for real, for real. And Drake, the new, he that new nigga. He is that new nigga. And, like, he, look, he next up to be the next GOAT. So if he not in the oh. GOAT conversation, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, That's true. That's true. I can see that. Yeah. Okay. Do you currently have a crush? Yes, I have a lot of them. <laughs> Whoa. Is there a number one crush? I know. Do yeah. you care to say her name? They're all equal. They're oh, all equal. Okay, he's an equal. How you have too? equal crushes? I'm I'm lost. Yes, man, they all in my eyes. They all on the same level, you know. So, okay. <laughs> How many do, crushes do you have at a time? Let's see. You taking about oh, five? Are oh. you gonna shoot your shot at any of these crushes? I be shooting. Maybe, like, but you be missing. They married. Right. Damn. Oh. I'm just playing. Nah, nah. <laughs> hey, yeah, you're going to miss nah, on that one. Nah, the views nah. and I opinion so. of nah. Mr. Hustle Porter over here are not the views and opinion of Grace <laughs> nah, and or a, a LaDonna. Or LaDonna. Nah, I, got okay. some, I shoot it, my shot at whatever, and uh, I be playing. Because I know yeah. the ones I got a crush on, the type of action I'm on right now, they not finna go for that. So Yeah. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. I be double hard and everything, though. <laughs> <laughs> they know I'm there. Worst job you ever had? Working at um this hospital. Um, I was like a, what was I? I was like a, um, a high profile janitor. <laughs> right. So I got to wear like scrubs and stuff in the hospital, but then I got to put together like the anesthesia cart, whatever. So you, but now I don't trash and I had to mop floors too. So they, oh. they like, they ain't care about nothing. They're like, dump that trash. And I had to do that for like three years, man. Aye, aye, aye. Dang. And the, then the trash have like, it's, we worked in surgery, so you get like blood on you and stuff. What hospital? <sighs> you care to say? I will say it. I don't don't worry about it. Don't say yeah. it. Don't say it. Y'all can bleep this out? No. No, don't, <laughs> say, don't, it. don't, don't say, say it. Anyway, yeah. So you might get like all kind of stuff on you. So I hated it. Okay. That's fine. Like a bad job. Oh, uh, yeah. And I, saw, right. and I saw women's shoes too at one point in time. Really? How yeah. was that? Um, you was just trying to get out of hoes. He was. I was. It was good, but then like, you know, I can't. What shoe store? <laughs> like, they kept buying them kidney heels, man. Ah, <laughs> you at the wrong shoe store. I was store. at JCPenney's, man. Yeah, you can't go to JCPenney's player. They kept Ain't nobody boots, going man. to JCPenney's and buying no shoes. <laughs> I was broke. I had to find a job. I ran out my Pell Grant money, man. So, shit, I had to go find something to do. Uh, <laughs> I'm so weak. How many people have you slept with? Enough. Ooh. Ooh. Fire. Come on, next. Ah! <laughs> oh. <Okay. laughs> have you ever stolen anything? Stole a lot of shit, man. Oh wow! <laughs> Want to see what's the most expensive thing you ever stole? Me and my roommate stole like a fifty-inch TV from Walmart. Um, we how in the hell that? did y'all steal? <laughs> Back in the day when they had a self-checkout line and stuff. Oh, so we'll be able to go through the check self-checkout line. He's getting some grapes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we scared like you got like a hundred dollars worth of groceries, whatever. But then we had the TV, and they I don't know why they didn't check it, whatever. So anyway, we knew that how the people work is when you go to the the, 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 um, the sensors, the first person that stops be the people they check. Every single mm-hmm. detail of this. Right. So, when they, so when they stop, we kept going. <laughs> so shit, we had a TV and groceries. A two for one. Yeah, man. Okay. That's, yeah, I got a lot of story, but. You know. I'm weak. I'm weak. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> uh, let's see. If you could have sex anywhere in the world, what would it be? Where would it be? Sorry. Where would it be? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Where would it be? Who would it be? What position supposed would you to be? be? It's supposed, supposed to be kidding. quick fire. Mm. Supposed to I don't be. know. Maybe um, shit. Dubai, maybe. Dubai, okay. On the little on the on the restaurant thing that be floating in the sky. That they the have sky. like the seat belts and stuff. Yeah, yeah I know what she's talking that about. That shit kill me though. Oh, uh, <laughs> you, hopefully not. Right. That's okay. it. That's the best I got. Um, threesome or one on one. Threesome because I haven't I haven't had a real threesome yet. What's a fake one? You had a fake one. You know when you might have sex with one girl, then you go to the next room. Yeah. Oh well, that's that's just like, like a transfer. <laughs> but now I have a threesome. Yet. Nobody has blessed me yet with a threesome. So okay, if I'm willing to <laughs> give me one, come on, I'm here. Okay. I'm weak. I'm weak. Okay. Um, what would you change about yourself if you could? Um, uh, what would I change about myself? Nothing. But so I gotta give you an answer. Um, no, that's if that's yes. your honest no, answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm straight. Okay, last yeah. time you got angry. <laughs> Today. Oh. <laughs> Working at custom service. Yeah, it'll um, do it. That'll do it. <laughs> it'll do it. What's your most embarrassing sexual experience? Oh, uh, man. <laughs> My shit caught a flat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he said a flat. <laughs> During or like right before? Right before. Because I was so anxious. Yeah. Ooh. Like Usually that happens like on the somebody, first time or if you like super anxious about a girl. I was really, I was like, yeah, this is gonna be it. Was this For, a long time ago? Mm, about five years ago. Okay. Yeah, that was wild. That's a wild bit. Okay, what are you most afraid of? Um, being homeless. That's a good fear. Yeah. Don't <laughs> nobody, nobody give a fuck about you when you're homeless, man. For yeah. the most part. I mean, they give a fuck about you, but everybody's struggling. So yeah. we can, <laughs> you can't, it's hard to help it's somebody like, else out when you're trying, you're exactly. trying to stay afloat. I'm not going to give you my last 20. You know? Like, damn, I don't bad, know. Bro. If I had change, I never cared change. Me either. But if I carry cash, the homeless people would get me every time. Yeah. Because I mean, because I'm so blessed. Because it's like the hand you know is in your pocket. Just mm-hmm. give it to them. Just they give it to them. You, they might spend it on something they're not supposed to. They, they still. might they might go get in a, a car that look better than mine. I don't know, <laughs> but that's up. To, that's with them and God. You feel me? Right. Have you ever been caught watching porn? No, I never been caught watching porn. You look like you watch porn at work. <laughs> I thought about it. I have. <laughs> For real? Yes. What's what's your favorite category? Uh, it just depends on what mood I'm in. Yeah, I mean, I go, I go, I go, I go, mm, <laughs> I don't know. It, I just, it really, I can go from, it's always black people. I don't yeah. like white people. I don't like white people porn. It don't look I don't know. It, no, look it looks same. so scripted. Like, I just don't, I don't like it. It look half baked, right? Like, it so do. I want it right just sloppy. Right like. <laughs> booty clapping. Yes. Like maybe that's what it is. Like the booty don't be flapping. Yeah. That's why. That's it. That's it. I, it just really depends on my mood though. <laughs> T Mo went on live and was pouring at work. My shit be moving oh, slow. Oh. Shout out to T Mo. Shout T-Mobile. out to T Mo. <laughs> <Probably be laughs> we all. just talk about Metro PCS niggas. Maybe me and Stroke. <laughs> Nigga, I can't see you. <laughs> okay, cuffed up or in these streets? Ooh. Hmm. Right now, I'm in these streets. Okay. Right now. Would you prefer to be in these streets yeah. or would you prefer to, prefer I, to be cuffed up? I want to be cuffed up, man. Somebody cuff me. <laughs> he said that was some hard. Somebody cuff me. I want to get married, man. Up, man. I get married tomorrow if, if, if it's possible. Oh, really? that's what's up. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna see we're later gonna put on. that in the atmosphere. We're going to put that to test, too. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather a cat the size of a horse <laughs> <laughs> or the horse the size of a cat? Nah, nah, hell no. <laughs> Give me the, uh, what? <laughs> nah, I hate cats like that. I can't see no big ass cat, man. Give me no horse the size of the cat, man. It's like a little miniature pony. <laughs> I can buy a little pony. Or <laughs> a little baby pony, I'm man. Oh, <laughs> you find this at? What you, what you on, man? <laughs> Yo, when I first saw that, <laughs> I was weak as fuck. I was like, yo, I don't know if that's I'm gonna be the only person weak, but that shit is that funny. That is crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? I know, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, football or basketball? Football. City girls or hot boys? City girls. Hey! Who said give a, uh, who said his real ass bitch give a fuck hey. about a nigga? Oh, that's on JT. Okay, I'm like, you said, you said okay. city girl. Yeah, I was trying to look. I had that on my thing. I was like, let me let me test this city girl action. 
You got it a little uh, bit. Let's see. This is my last one. If okay. you were out on the first date with a female, at the end of the date, she asked, uh, or she said she want to have sex, what you what would you do? I'm not a floozy, so I'll make it up <laughs> the next day. Okay, I'm good. so done. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he said he's not a floozy. He's not a floozy. Not a floozy. Not a- so he'll make her wait till the next day. Yeah, come on now. I ain't easy. <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh, my um, God. One food you'll never give up. Chicken. Pizza. Pizza. Yeah, mm. I, I don't know Ooh, if I could. Or tacos. Taco. Yeah, shrimp tacos is. Mm. Well, yeah. chicken wings for me. Chicken, I chicken wings. I can't so. give up chicken wings either, but I can. I don't have to eat them all the time. That's the Jeez. one thing I can't. I eat chicken wings every day. Let me pepper. Honey barbecue. That, that little show in there before everybody came. It was a cooking show. I saw some chicken wings. Some shit hey, looked so good. So it was good. So hot. Let me tell you something. Hot. Let me tell mm. you something. Hot. <laughs> let me pepper all flags. Mm. Oh, you ratchet. Ratchet. Oh, I'm from Fairfield. <laughs> Let me ask you this. So I may be cute, who got but I'm be- ratchet. Who got the best wings? Because I'm tired of arguing with you people about this, right? What you mean? Like, like what? Atlanta what you- or Birmingham? Birmingham. Have you, you ever had Have you ever had, had wings in Atlanta? Yes, I'm from Atlanta. That I'm shit from- don't even be wet. Y'all be going ask, to J.R. Cricket, bro. Some, ask, for some wet. Wet. Ask, ask for some wet lemon pepper. This shit do not be wet. Stop. It be dry. Y'all be going to, where get your wings from? You go to Atlanta. Mm, Do you go to the last hood? place? You don't be I ain't even going to the hood. That's man. why. That ain't my That ain't close. my That ain't my You gotta go to the hood to get your wings. You you that ain't my. I mean, I'm not going to the hood. Got hood. to. And then I'm not from Atlanta, so you know somebody will have to take tell me where to go. You got to down there die to get the best. Ones. I like I like strip no, club. Well, it's not worth it. Strip club wings, they be fire. But I, I would rather. I've had strip club oh, wings here. Strip. I like strip club wings. Strip club wings be fine. They do be fine. They do be fine. Fire. They do. I don't know why they. Why do strip club food always be fine like that? It's a twerk wing. It's the one. It's the, <laughs> the twerk <laughs> wing. The twerk <laughs> wing sprinkled into the wing. <laughs> 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 the chef be in the back. Acid tea. Uh, that's it. Acid tea. That's Ooh, it. The secret ingredient. Mm-hmm. They getting they getting uh, dome while they fixing our salad. Man, listen, maybe. Ooh, that's that special sauce. That special sauce. Ooh. Nah, I might not get no more wings. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, he, they not putting it in your your wings. Man, you know what I'm saying? Please, it's going somewhere. It, I mean, her mouth. Hey, hey. shoot them up. Hey, hey. 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 <laughs> Yo, that was the that was dope. Oh, did you have any more questions? No, that was it. Yep. That mm-hmm. was dope. Love love a quick fire, especially with somebody that's just, you know, down earth cool. Gonna See give anything. it to us. Yeah, gonna give it to us. We don't have many um hot, hot topics, topics, but yeah. we just gonna, you know, great storm or whatever. Well, we gotta start all our hot topics with something sad. Yeah, I don't so, know. I'm co- I'm I'm assuming everybody knows of at course. this point that Michael K. Williams yes. we're talking about condolences to him. Rest in peace to him. That made me really, really sad when I yes. saw Omar Little. That should hurt me too, man. Yeah. Yeah. So Michael K. Williams, he was on the the, the Wire, Wire, of course. That's Lovecraft what, yeah. country. Love him in Lovecraft. Really? Love him. Listen, I was just thinking the other day, like, when are they going to come out with a season two? They canceled it. Yeah, they canceled no. it. Yeah. I wonder why. I it was so black. good. It's too black. But it wasn't. It was so no, sci-fi. We had it them. was sci-fi. I loved, loved, loved it. And like, I, I like, could not wait. I did not think that I was going to like yes. it because it was like... This super not, sci-fi. Yeah. Super sci-fi. But, like, after the first or second... If you watched over the first or second episode, you, like, it kept you coming back. It did. Can I be honest? Yeah. What? I didn't watch all them shits, man. I stopped, like, at episode six. It got kind of freaky, man. It does. But, <laughs> the, but, the, it, but the freaky you. made the, made the oh, show. Man. It did. No, it was good though. I had okay. a supporter because there was no black people. Yeah, I yeah. Like and I love Journey. Me, Journey yeah. Smollett. I love her as yeah. an actress. I do. But I do. That, that whole series, I loved it. I hope they bring it back. We should put. We should. And you know what? Of- you know what I've noticed about Journey Smollett? She puts her all in every, every single role. role She's that, a great but all her, all the series that she, they always get canceled. I wonder why. And it's like she almost plays the same role. She do crazy. Like she have to be. <laughs> you know. Was she an ease by you? Yes. She was in Ease by You, uh-huh. but she was also Man. in, um, is that Harriet Tubman movie, uh, series? Um, oh, was she, it Madam CJ? What, was she in Madam CJ? She played in Tyler Perry. She caught the stuff from She do. Boy. She did. Call, damn. <laughs> oh, she did. She caught that stuff. Mm-hmm. Temptation? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Temptation. 
Man, she, I mean, every role she plays is amazing. Well, she be though, right? fire though. She, yeah, she, play she do be fire. Have y'all watched Boardwalk Empire? That Michael no. Williams is in. Okay, I didn't watch Mm-mm. that either. But um, when he they was see a us, great. Did you see him in When They See Us? Yes, yes he was a dad. Of and one of the boys. um, the lady from uh, <laughs> is it uh, what's the what's the show on? Dang, she was the mom. It was when we were growing up. Y'all remember that show? She passed just a couple of months ago. Oh, talking about the. Mm-hmm. Um, Mm, Suzette. Yeah, Suzette, but I can't remember the show like when we were growing up. I know we were all around the same age. But yeah, I anyways. Know, I don't remember. But um yeah, Suzette was on when they um when they see us. Is that what it's called? When they see us? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. hey. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Lit. Lit. But anyways, yeah. Uh, so Michael K. Williams, he will definitely be missed. He is one of the greatest actors. I I like I love the um, energy that he brings to the screen Always. every single time. Like, I love that cut on his face. Mm-hmm. It's It has so much character, as you say. That's the only person <laughs> with character <laughs> with that, I, like, that I would like. You said Seal look decent, right? I That's did. what she said. I don't like Seal, but Michael K. Williams Michael can get K. it. Williams can get it. Oh, he could have gotten it. He was Dang. just, he was a phenomenal actor. Oh, absolutely. Actor. But he was like typecasted a lot too. Yeah. Like but that. you know what? This fentanyl, is it called fentanyl? Fentanyl. Yeah. No. It's been, it's been it's killing it people. Yeah. It's been like, y'all leave that alone. Just go for coke. Maybe oh. cutting it with the Coca-Cola people. Coca-Cola. <laughs> I mean, hell, don't be trying these drugs that's mixed with other drugs. But they don't, I don't back even in think the day, they know. Back in the days, they usually cut the coke back in the day though. I you used to do too? Nah, nah oh. I ain't. I just I watched. We just doc- hit. Yeah, watch yeah documentary. documentary. <laughs> <laughs> watch little documentary. I did, I just seen a couple shows. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we we see him watching Raising Cane. Raising Cane. Yeah. She done showed us how to cook it. They killed everybody. Kill, killed kill everybody. Everybody. How you cook? <laughs> how you done kill they everybody? The, the white the girl. I said, of. oh lord. What show y'all talking about? Raising Cane. I don't watch that. Well, you know, to me, honestly. He saw one dirty ass bag of crack this whole episode. Like, it's slow as fuck, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the whole series, I think, is slow. But now it's, it's getting it's getting hyped up now. Mm-hmm. They're mm-hmm. finna do the season finale song, so they're going to leave you on a cliffhanger. So right. Right. everything pumped up. But right. I like um, Jukebox. I do. I, I hate man. Though, ju- jukebox man. She, this 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 next episode is about to kill me because she was in love with that little white girl, and I knew. I told my husband. Oh. I said, "Shun, they about to kill the white girl." Like, I was like, "No, don't smoke it. No, no smoke it. don't do it." No, but look it. though, it was her fault that's though. It was her fault. She shouldn't have stolen. Why are you stealing crack? Because, the, but you know what? She looked like. She had already been uh, addicted to crack at one point, or addicted to some drugs. That's why her you parents had now? no. But you can just tell how her parents dealt with her. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, That's... like she had a past type mm. type deal. You know what I'm saying? And what's this called? Raising Canaan. Oh, on um the Power Book. Mm, yeah. I okay, I saw, mm-hmm. I saw the first episode. Yeah, it's slow. Yeah, it's slow, but you know we watch it. It's something me and my baby watch together. That's so, so sweet. Yeah. I don't do that no more. I got to by myself, man. <sighs> just get it's you It's just easier Go. sometimes because I fall asleep. Whatever. <laughs> it, it, it do. What you got else? What I said, what you got else? What else you got So do you, um, do you watch Love and Hip Hop? I used to. I, I thought you were talking to me. I was like, yeah, I have been. Okay, so Safari and Erica. Mm-hmm. Have you been keeping up with how the, this fool? Man, that dude tripping. Talking he about is what? tripping. Like... I think he left his own baby show. Yes, he did. I watched the clips. Would you do that no matter what? Nah, I went. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, like yeah. that. That's like he is the most childish, selfish man I've ever so seen selfish. in my life. He horrible. Bro. This girl is in the hospital. Yes, fighting for her life and, and the, baby's the baby's life. life. And you're in Miami twerking, <laughs> dirty whining, hey, D- Erica, dirty whining. But Erica Miller ain't punching the rib on her. <laughs> I, mean, I hate not that dude. It's funny, but it's it's stupid. It's like it's stupid. funny how childish she is. Like, and you know, Erica has a past. Erica has done some crazy stuff with yes. some crazy people. But she pulled on my heartstrings on Tuesday. I'm she not did. on Monday. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, Erica Mena ain't shit. Bro. Now, but this, this play, nobody play devil's advocate. Yeah. Man. Now she's been damaging oh, his sorry. stuff, like putting paint on his motorbikes and his yeah. and his dirt bikes or whatever. Yeah. 
So do you think that's the reason why he doesn't want to be around her and he wants to stay away is because he doesn't he want to be doing around crazy her. stuff. I know. Like, like, like I know I'm you playing kn- devil's advocate. You know, when you have a crazy woman, right? right. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, the type of situation you get yourself into before you have a baby with a woman, before you wife her up. Yes. So when she do certain shit, it should not be to any type of like surprise. <laughs> it should not be a surprise. Right. right. Safari trying to keep them checks coming, man. That way you acting crazy. He, he can't Shafar gonna get checks without with, with or without Erica. Nobody will. He need to stay on that show because I'm not buying not Nam album he putting out. No, it's trash. But Safari had love and hip hop before Erica came along. Yeah, Erica, but Erica, yeah, yeah Erica right. doesn't make love you and hip hop storylines though. That's their storyline. He be, but he be making his own storyline, really. Because mm-hmm. if you think about it, he's he's a really a stupid part of love and hip hop. <laughs> but I mean, he he clearly be making his own little story. But Erica needs Safari. You think so? Absolutely. Oh, Erica, whole she. Can, I mean, but she's been with a lot of other guys. She too, dated every so. nigga on every love hip hop, right? Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. She always she's going to need a man to make her plot, her storyline. Story she was engaged like, to Bow Wow. Remember that? Engaged. Dang, she was she with was. um. Uh, rich, rich, rich dollars. Rich been dollars. Been for a long time. She been so. hoping for a long time. You think her pussy will be uh? <laughs> she was like Valentino. Be, be tired. tired. God damn. It's rejuvenated. <laughs> she got that bread. <laughs> she just gonna get that little thing plumped up. Yeah, go Doctor Miami. Get that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's it. <laughs> he will do it. He will do it. Check Angel Light come on and cool. You know what I'm saying? Go get, just, go get that shit fixed. Go get your little, you know, go get your little maintenance done. Okay. <laughs> Portia was just doing um a pop of Portia, I think. I was watching on Instagram. A pop but, of Portia. Yeah, this is when she come on and just talk about something oh. random for like two or three minutes. But she um she talked about like getting a mummy mummy makeover. First of all, Portia is fine as fuck. She is fine. She got body. <laughs> she got body. Like she don't days. need to touch nothing. But I get it. You know when yeah. you start when you used to looking a certain way and you had a child or children, mm-hmm. and it's like you know what I kind of want to you know <laughs> judge so myself. Let me, let me ask y'all this: Not saying anything like y'all need them or anything, but would you all get a, a mummy makeover? I've had one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Go to YouTube, Olivia Sky. You'll see. Uh, <laughs> you'll see it. <laughs> oh, man, yes, yeah. Doctor Miami. I've had. Yeah. Man, that's, yeah. that's tight. You living life. I'm trying. I'm trying, but I didn't have my kids. You know, I, um, I have my husband. What, what she wanted to do for yeah. herself. It yeah, was fire, like, yeah, I think yeah. people should like if you want it, get it. Yeah, yeah. that's it. No, don't do it it's for all about other people. You it's know, all about preference. yeah, don't yeah. do it for the likes on Instagram. But if if it's gonna make you happier at the yeah. end of the day, life yeah, is all about it. being happy with yourself. So right, yeah. I like that. I like, I like it. That I like too. it. You got anything else? Um, 9-11. Oh, yeah. So uh, tomorrow, you, we record on a Friday, you guys. So tomorrow is the um, 20th anniversary of 9 mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I just wanted to quickly ask you guys, where were you 20 years ago when you heard oh. or you saw the <gasps> events that were taking place? I was in the ninth grade. Really? In Wait, the ninth on. freaking grade. I was in eighth grade. Yeah, I was in the ninth grade. You so said you were in the eighth. Eighth grade. I, I like I remember it like it was yesterday. I was mm-hmm. in Miss Children's class, my math class, and we literally sat for the entire day and watched it on TV. It was I mean I don't in know ninth if, grade in ninth grade I don't know oh. if it was like I can't remember my emotions back then. Like yeah. was I understanding what had happened or the severity of it? Yeah, but I do remember that. Like I would always remember, and you know I don't remember shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know me yeah. either, but I remember I was pregnant and mm. I was um, just had graduated high school. And I remember my um, son's grandmother, her saying, oh, my God. And mm-hmm. I got up and I looked at the TV and I was like, I could like the the visual. I can just still remember. Mm-hmm. It is like ingrained in my head. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, my God, what is this going what on? What is going on? It, make you, it made you scared because it you didn't did. know like. Like, yeah, we in Birmingham, Alabama. Ain't nobody coming to Birmingham, but you never know. You never know. <laughs> I was in Mr. Acre class when it happened, A grade. We had a football game today. So I knew it was serious when they canceled the football game. Mm. So, you know, then by being, by growing up in Atlanta, you know, we got one of the business airports. So, like, we was on super high alert. Oh, yeah. But I didn't understand what the hell it, like, I seen what happened, but, like, I ain't know it was that 
deep. Like, yeah, I understand right. terrorists and all that shit down. Like, mm-hmm. But I just say, like, oh, so she finna go down. So, yeah. Yeah. Like, she, like, she, he wasn't supposed to drive a plane into a building. Down. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah. So, because I missed it. And then, like, I end up, we was watching the news. So, we seen when the second one mm-hmm. ran into the, I'm like, oh, this is crazy. Crazy. But I guess by being so far from New York, like, mm-hmm. it probably, it took me a minute to realize, like, okay, this is like some. Could you imagine <laughs> being in New York at that time? Like, oh God, I would have I been extremely scared. And I understand why these people are traumatized. Right. Like, to this day, 20 years later. 20 years like, later. That's, it's terrible. But our heart mm-hmm. and condolences go to the families mm-hmm. and the victims of those um, that tragedy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we appreciate our um, our soldiers that went over yes. and fought, you know, and, and fought for us and first cleaned responders. up and first responders. And, yeah. you know, that, that's a hard job. But we appreciate you. Yep, yep. For sure. For sure. You want to go ahead and get into this topic with yes. our special guest? Special guest. What, what are we going to talk about? Okay, so we want to know, <clears throat> in your opinion, because you're single. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yeah. You're looking to mingle? Clearly not by choice, because he just told us he want to be married. He, he did. <laughs> but he, said, he went from saying he has like sis- five women. Right, right, right. <laughs> to wanting to be right. married. I got a funny situation, but yeah, I'm single. Okay. What's the funny situation? I'm, I'm, I want to know that. Mm. Like, you you got somebody you're talking to, but you're so trying to fill out? this is the thing, right? Last year, in the pandemic, mm-hmm. me and my longtime girlfriend, we broke up, right? Oh, man. So, we was going together for like six years. Damn. Damn. The <laughs> pandemic could do it. You know what I'm saying? It like, it right before the it's pandemic make happened, break right? Through, yeah. <laughs> so, like, you know, right now, you know, we, we come, you know, we talk, whatever, but, um, you know, I'm still trying to figure out, do I want to Eight other people, or don't want to go back with her, mm-hmm. or you know, or just be a hoe, you know. Yeah. Okay, well, you can't be a hoe. You want to get married? Oh, he can be a hoe. I can hoe till I die. Okay. Yeah, he just won't be married. <laughs> well, you got some married hoes out here. You got some married hoes. You got some married hoes. It just depends on what type of. Nah, but on a serious tip, though, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I don't know. I well, mean, okay, so what I'm, are you I'm looking for? Though. Um, in a relationship with a woman, like what can a woman bring to the table with you, and what can you bring to the table for a woman? Oh well, I bring stability. You know, I keep a job. I got a lot of hustle, so like I want to make sure everything's taken care of. I'm be a good provider. Um, what can she bring to the table to you? Well, she can bring. I don't want to sound cliche, like peace and <laughs> organization. What if she don't bring peace? <laughs> she gotta go, bro. I mean, I you not peace. women are not going. You guys, we're not gonna we, be we, all, all the time, time y'all. We yeah, not. we have we have things we're going okay, through as well. well. Like, you can yes. go. I'm talking about like like no outrageous shit. Like nobody lingering and still trying to pop up in your life type shit. You know what I'm saying? You want peace, like not from outside sources, but within your relationship. Yeah, you know what? I really don't know what the fuck I want. No, honestly, that's all right. We're gonna figure <laughs> no, that shit honestly, out today. Like, that's what, what's one that's one reason why I'm single now because. Sorry, I don't know exactly what I want no more. Like after being with somebody so long, it's kind of like starting over, trying to figure like, do I really want to get settled down with somebody? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's kind of I'm in a funny space. Okay, can we play the bad therapist and dissect your past relationship and see why it didn't work? I got a lot of bad. Well, well hold on. <laughs> let me ask a quick question. This is a quick question, and we got we gonna have to dissect it. Yes. As a single man mm-hmm. over thirty, mm-hmm. with no kids, yeah, it's lit. Is that a red flag? No, it's lit. I heard it was a red flag. That's lit. That's a mean. The, folks, the thing is this, right? I don't have no kids because I, I bought a lot of Plan Bs. That's one. Whoa. That's one. Okay. <laughs> the honesty. I, I love mean, it. Yes. I love it. I love it. 5586. That's it. That's um, with plus so tax. That is tax. Yeah. That's- and 5382 with another plan. I'm well, done with you. Nah, and then, oh, no, it's like, honestly... I didn't expect to be this age and not be married. Mm-hmm. I really? Was, like I thought, like I was gonna be married by now. Mm-hmm. And like so, you know, I don't think it's a red flag. It depends on where you live at, though. You know what? Somebody <laughs> told me this was a long time ago. What's that? A woman. Something is wrong with the woman that don't have kids. That means that she don't have good pussy. Have y'all ever heard some shit like that? I heard some shit like that, but single. I've heard it, but t- girl. <laughs> I'm like, well, <laughs> but I don't, 
But I don't think that's true. I, I mean, some women true. just, you now, know, if you didn't get they, caught up. If you over 30. to get that 55, 86. <laughs> right. <laughs> nah, so what happens is if you're over 30, you never had a pregnancy scare, then your pussy trash. I can get with that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I can get if with nobody that. Nobody ain't never gonna come in yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, so, wrong. so wrong. So wrong. I can deal with that. That right there. That's that's what's up. Okay, go ahead and that's it. That's it. My bad. Okay, so why y'all broke up after six years? I think it was just um a lot was going you on. You want shit or she want shit? Which nah, one? it was crazy. It wasn't nothing like that. It was like okay. we just like kind of like was going through. I was going through my shit trying to figure out what the hell I want to be, whatever. She was going through. Nursing school, making an adjustment to her life, and mm-hmm. she wasn't happy with a lot of shit going on. I wasn't happy with my my situation. I was in for like job and and just life in general. Then I had like some family issues going on, so everybody was fucking sad and shit. And so <laughs> yeah. and the niggas on then we had just yeah. broke up like a couple months before that. Mm-hmm. So she was on eggshells about certain things. She didn't want to go, you know, like. It's like she was tiptoeing, like, instead of being all the way in, mm-hmm. she was trying to hold back for saying certain things, you know, not to me, for the hurt of feelings or to cause an argument, so we'll break up. And now it's be the same way because I didn't want to say nothing. So y'all just want, it was some unhappy people. <laughs> for that, and it was crazy, we were unhappy for like a few months. Yeah, yeah. Well, how y'all just, just then step away instead of just breaking up? Maybe completely. this is what that is. Maybe I think that's what it is. Like, um, what's it called being on a sabbatical? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Maria. She taught me that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shout out Maria. Right, for the, right. That's her sister. <laughs> oh, that's. But, <laughs> but yeah, so it, I don't know, man. It just you know, it's a lot. Down, like, do I really want to? Do I really want to settle down and get married? Mm-hmm. And then sometimes I be want to move back home. Then I don't know if she gonna be able to come. So it was, it was a lot going into that situation. Then you know, gotta, every relationship ain't gonna be perfect. Y'all gotta there's give and take. That's true. Then was a, it was the age difference too. Like she was oh. like four years younger than me. Oh, oh yeah. Well, that's yeah. not. I mean, that's not bad. But that's it, it's not cer- bad, at certain but... times, no. But yes. Yeah. Okay. I was going worse since I was like twenty five. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And then she was like, you know, what I'm saying twenty one, whatever. So like, it was a. I don't know. We. I don't know what the fuck happened, man. Come back, baby. Uh, <laughs> that's so <laughs> true. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so in a, in a relationship, do do men prefer? Independent women, or do they prefer needy women? I like independent women. I like hustlers. But, but you know, a lot of men say that they right. they want right. ind- independent women. But then when your ass come into the relationship and you got this job, this job, this job, this job, right. and you hustling, right. it's now you too busy. What nigga? Which what do what you, you want? want? Well, to be honest, like no, I'm dead serious because I had like three jobs one time. And so, like, it's I'm busy, she busy. As long as mm-hmm. we can make somewhere where we can meet in the middle. and So and how much it. time do y'all need to spend together if, you know, both of you guys have a busy schedule? What's ideal to you? What does that look like? Mm, I just need probably, like, three to four hours, man, during the week. Okay. Just one time, like, three to four hours? During, during the week, yeah. Okay. But, like, um, on the weekend, I kind of want you all to myself on, like, on Sunday. <laughs> just like, like on Sunday. Sunday. Like Sunday, nah, that shit dead. <laughs> on a Sunday, it shit dead. Like, I'll air because I'm going to kill my schedule. You're going to make time. Yeah. That's good. I like to work day shift and night shift. I like to work day shift at my my real job. I like to work night shift on Fridays at my uh, at the other hospital job. So, mm-hmm. That's a door dash, too. Oh, dang. Dang. Yeah, you you hustle a lot. Yeah, you hustle. I was hustling. doing a lot. My boss thought I was crazy, too. He was like, nigga, why you doing that shit? But anyway, yeah, so like, I'm really like, any way to get some money or try to make something happen, I'm cool. So I like a hustler chick because I like to see it turned me on too. Like mm-hmm. a girl go out there and get a bag. Yeah. That's nice. Like, and you know, cause I get fucked up. I can get broke. I know she got some money. <laughs> okay, so she she getting the bag, right? She getting the bag. So we're gonna talk about what do women bring to the table. How can she bring the things that you want to the table if she's getting the bag? It something's gonna have to sacrifice, right? So what are you willing to sacrifice? That's a good ass question. You good at this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what am I willing to sacrifice? Um, damn. So we can have sex like maybe like three times out the week. <laughs> so you can sacrifice a day. You, you gonna sacrifice a little bit of the sex? Okay. From what number to three? Mm, I kind of want to do it like at least. Four times, well, four times out of out of five days, out of the week. Well, well we that's, weekends. That's a sacrifice, though. That's one less day. Um, 
So I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. That's a good question. That's why I'm single. I don't know because I mean I'm thinking of I'm thinking like, like what do I bring to the table, right? Or what do women bring to the table? How am I you know, asset we, to you? Yeah, oh, we we are we making making sure the house is not only it's not just a house. It's like a home. You right. know, you're okay. taking care of, but we. We are looking for our man to take care of us. This is my thing with that question because, guys, we get ridiculed for asking women, what do y'all bring to the table? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you see it on social media, like, damn, you want to know what woman bring to the table? You need to date a man. They shit shit like that in the comments. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> I don't want to be one of those niggas to get, to get told that. So, basically, bring to the table at least be able to, um, you know, be able to, do domestic shit like cooking, clean, whatever. Cooking. So she has to be able to cook. <laughs> Got to be because y'all could do the cleaning together. We can do that. That's the man. compromise. Um, let's see. Um, I need somebody to organize because I'm terrible with that. Like somebody can help me. Like I need, I need a cheerleader. At the end of the day, okay. I need so, some, but you need to know that a cheerleader is not going to be a hustler. Yes, she can be. You can send a text message say. <laughs> Baby, go get them today or some some bullshit. Well, okay, okay like, I know. Like, that, that's about support. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. that's a little different. Me. That's yeah. a little Just different. A cheerleader is to me when I think about a cheerleader, I'm thinking about somebody that's around you twenty four, not twenty four seven, no. but like twelve seven. Okay, like helping you with your helping you making and stuff sure like that. everything is together, making sure you're you know you pumped up, baby. Have you eaten this? You know what I'm saying? Making sure you're good. Yeah. Now a supportive chick is that's what that is, babe. Hey. You, how's work going? How you doing? You know, I'm so oh, proud that, of you. Yeah. You know, I like that. Keep, tell me that. Tell me, yo, tell me you proud of me. You know what I'm saying? That's I your like love that. language. Yep, that is one of my love languages. I just found out what the fuck that shit was though. Like, you know, <laughs> I can't say people like love language. I don't know the fuck that. Uh, was. Let me look up like, all the love. Uh, is it Spanish? You know, is it English? What, what, what's <laughs> it's words of um, <laughs> affirmation. Yeah, yeah gifts. Man. I'm learning a lot though, cause like physical touch. What are the other ones? Quality time. Quality, quality time. time. Yeah, he just told y'all this one, basically. Yeah. See, I'm the thing with me, man. Honestly, coming up trying to find out like love links, or trying to understand relationship was something new to me because ain't nobody in my family married, but like one person, whatever, right? Everybody went to the ring with shit. So like, right. I ain't never seen an example of real okay. positive love. Real, a healthy real, relationship. Yeah, none of that. So yeah. I'm like, so I'm really out here on the wing trying to figure out, figure out what should I want or what should I strive for as far as a relationship. I Just think see. it's cool that you, as a guy, even saying that mm -hmm. you, you know where you there's a struggle in your relationship. You know, or things that you look for in a relationship. Yeah, because so I, I think that's pretty cool. I just learned how to be a boyfriend back when I was doing that shit. So like being mm -hmm. a husband, I, I don't. I'm going this bitch like without no kind of goddamn guidance. Like yeah. ain't no manual to this shit. I said, <laughs> I said on one of our past um, episodes that there are so many books on how to be a wife, how to be a husband, mm -hmm. but there is not a book on how to be. A wife to a husband to Ladonna, right? Or a, a husband to Grace, right. and that shit is different. Like you just have to learn who you're with. You know what I'm saying? So everybody is not the model. Mm -mm. Thanks. Everybody mm -mm. is not the model. You have to create that. And model that shit for boring if she is. <laughs> she is. Exactly. She need, boring as fuck. Need a little excitement. <laughs> yeah, you need a little. Bitch, did you? So Nigga, <laughs> yeah, I talk me now. What? I got, a, I got a guilty pleasure, though. What's your guilty pleasure? I like a little drama. See? See? I like yo, a little what? drama. I like a little drama. I like a little... Nigga, where the that? fuck you at? Like, shit. I like a little that, 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 that means she care, don't it? Yeah. That means she care. Because if she don't do that. Yeah. Give me something. If she don't do that, then what? Yeah, look at that. Okay, babe. Like, I'm cheating. Let's oh, do something. No. <laughs> what is Let she me know you care. That's why she don't care. Because maybe she cheating. Yeah. Nah, but like, I need somebody like... That's crazy. But <laughs> <laughs> I just need somebody like I need a little drama. I need to get mad sometimes. Show me how much you really care about me. Yeah, I might do a little bullshit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just make sure the fire still up. Make us just be fire. You know what I'm saying. And so I don't know, man. I'm a mess. I'm like I'm toxic, but I don't want to be toxic. I want to be a <laughs> so being a toxic nigga. What makes you want to wife up a female when there's so many options out here? Because it costs too much to entertain. It girls, do man. cost too much. It costs a lot to entertain a nigga <laughs> like, too. Like it does. Why would you want to entertain multiple niggas at one time? I just you gotta have a you money. can't take care of every nigga. You, you can. You, you, your <laughs> you and your pussy gonna be tired. Man, listen, <laughs> and listen, <laughs> I should go wild, ain't it? Yeah. Oh, Erica, man, ass pussy. <laughs> so, but listen, man, I 
listen though, it's like you gotta have money to play. <laughs> you you gotta have when you yeah. single. I learned this. You gotta have money to play. Mm-hmm. Cause these you don't. Cause these motherfuckers want real single dates too. Oh yeah. They trying to go to goddamn Paris. Paris. They trying the to go to Ruth Chris. That's why I'm trying I'm to like, go. Let's listen. Take a, let's take a weekend trip to Atlanta. Man. Yep. Everybody can't do take that. Take me to Houston. Take me somewhere I've never been. Man, right. what? This one girl I was talking to me, she wanted to go to this brunch spot. We got paid down like $150 to get the reservation. And then I'm blind. And, and they're tied, and they're tied mm-hmm. up with the goddamn food. I'm like, man, listen, if you go to Waffle House, they do high bachi. No, no. Waffle House is high Y'all so, think Waffle House high bachi? <laughs> they could have fooled the front of you. I'm <laughs> done. <laughs> so, no. I'm not about to do that to her. Now, I'm not going to lie. You are not about me. to do you that. You can nah. take me to Waffle House at 2 30 in the morning, okay? You can take me there. Like, I'm not too bougie for Waffle House, but I'm a little bougie. So mm-hmm. don't take me to Waffle House before two thirty in the morning. Okay, That's, I, I respect that, but yeah, but playing a, playing to play is really a thing when you single. Cause, and I be dating younger, and I date older. So like, what's young, the oldest woman you ever dated? Shit, by age. <laughs> I that can't lie, I ain't never been old. older. Like I be flirting with older women, but I ain't never bad one. I'd be kind of scared. Like, they'd be like, what? Well, you sit down if you can't bag no older lady. But, I mean, you they, know, but they be where, like, that's going to be the one to take mm-hmm. care of you. They don't yep. want to use nigga for their back, though. They only want some dick, though, man. <laughs> and they put the, the trash out. Uh, <laughs> I, ain't got, I, ain't, I ain't doing no motherfucking chores. <laughs> Mow my law real quick. <laughs> I ain't cutting nothing. He said, he said these, young, these young bitches be wanting you to, can you take my son outside man, and throw the football with him? <laughs> Man, them, man, them young girls are crazy. And the old lady gonna treat you like her son. Mm-hmm. Come in, so baby, so I can rub your head. I might right need that, man. So I'm gonna, re- I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say that over. So I be dating women my age and younger. <laughs> I just thought about. I was like, oh, next is it next Friday? Friday after next? What's with the like the with the with the wolf pussy? Yeah, with the. Hey, your daddy, I said hello. Hey, what the fuck you say? <laughs> That nigga was tripping. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's yeah. the old lady for you. I think you oh did. yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But I don't know, man. It's it's dating it's is kind of confidence. Dating is it's kind of crazy though, man. Because you got the city girls out here, mm-hmm. parking bags, mm-hmm. and, and they want stuff. <laughs> But I but everybody, everybody every every girl is not a city girl. So you say, okay, well, you could get her a Brahmin. I got a Brahmin. I don't but think I don't mind spending money though. Okay. When so at what point do she get? Uh, Louis Vuitton. A Louis Vuitton. Oh, shit. You got to do a little. You know what I'm saying? You gotta <laughs> you, she got to be your girl. You got to be banking. That's 1200 for Wait. a tote. 1500 for a tote. I was about to say. For, for, for the goddamn with <laughs> the she monogram have to be your on girl? it. Yeah, you got to be my girl. Oh, you got to be either my girl or you got to be putting in the same shit into me. Like, you got to be spending bread on me. My thing is, I don't like a stingy ass nigga. Nah, you know what you I'm can't saying? Get nowhere being a stingy ass nigga. Yeah, I don't like a stingy. I'm not going to ask you if you don't have it. You know, if I decide to court you, if I decide to date you and you don't have it, I'm not going to ask you for a little bit of time. Right. But also, don't get to my birthday and, and give me a cupcake. Like, <laughs> the fuck is that? Don't go, get, don't go buy me a, yeah, don't go buy me a Michael Kors. You know, I don't, you know, I don't wear Michael Kors. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you have to go with what you can afford, <laughs> right. right? Okay. Go to get me a little tennis bracelet, you know. Give me you Brandon get... um, Blackwood. Oh, see, now, like, my ex, I bought it. What the fuck else she wanted to get? Like, Jerry, I didn't give a fuck. Go buy a little rope chain. Oh, yeah. Little... You know, if you, you know, I like to run. Go buy me some dope ass running like shoes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I want all that shit, man. I want yeah. all that shit. Yeah. Like, you, know you ain't got to go you and know... give me a, a Brahmin or a Louis Vuitton or YSL. Just give me something that's thoughtful. I'm not buying yeah. your Yeah. Chanel yeah. bags yeah. are for wifey, though. Absolutely, you Sean. It. You heard that, Scoop. You heard that because I've been saying it. <laughs> Chanel bag for wifey. That's a yes. That's Chanel bag hitting he for. Said, that's a little baby Honda. A little it's a Honda. baby Honda. It <laughs> is five thousand four hundred between four to five thousand dollars. I be knowing about this yeah, shit, man. I know my tricking miles. budget. <laughs> What's your tricking budget? What's the most expensive Ooh. gift you've ever um, given a woman? Ooh, that's a good question because I ain't got nobody, nothing too expensive. I've been broke for a long time. <laughs> like, I just started making decent money like three years ago. So, okay. well, so, <laughs> so what now. Ah, uh, shit. You be honest, man. You was with a girl for six years. I know like, you got her something good. I buy shit in spurt. So, like, I put put some money up to go to Bahamas, some shit like that. But, mm-hmm. like, I ain't never bought nothing. That's a good gift. 
Yeah, I help pay for like tuition and shit. Oh, oh that's, that's a great, great gift. gift. <laughs> <laughs> that's My nigga, right. that's, like, that's that's a lot. That's, that's what we was just talking right about right there. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's when you get it. That's thoughtful. <laughs> like that's like my my chick is trying to do something with her life. Like, she right. trying to go to the next level. I'm going to make sure. Like I, if a man comes to me and be like, okay, it's my birthday, right? Yeah. He know I like a great gift. He know I. If he come to me and he like, baby, I got this envelope. And I'm like, ooh, boo. I would much rather love for him to give me an envelope full of cash to start my business yeah. than a bag. For sure. I'm too old for that shit. Show me that you want to see, want to see me Invest win. Invest in me. Yeah. Invest in me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I fuck with that, though. Because, like. That's true. Because my, it's my girl. I know, like I said, like I want to hustle. Mm -hmm. So if she want to get something going. I'm like, fuck it. I don't give a fuck about getting it. What you need? Right. Get that yeah. shit, man. I go get it back. I'm going to make it back regardless. Somehow, I got to do some stuff, some plasma or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me go get that blood. We don't make shit. Because the, the worst thing, I don't want to be a nigga that didn't help my woman succeed in nothing yeah. she want to do. Yeah. That's my, good. You know what I'm saying? I, That's a good look. Because, you know, and, and vice versa, you don't want no woman that don't want to help you succeed. You. Right, so right. Helping you out when you need something. Right, Baby, right. Go drop this off for me or mm -hmm. whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. So, like, what, what you, I like small. My girl, she, she can't do small. She could be honest. I can handle everything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just me though. So, how do you feel about fifty-fifty? Ah, fuck that. Because the thing about it is that I you know what I can't say. Fuck that. Because <laughs> I was just about to because people people living range or living style is different. different. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But if I got it, mm -hmm. shit, I'm paying all that shit. But like at the same time, I might be like, look, you gotta pay the fucking goddamn light bill because <laughs> I need a little motherfucker. Uh, you need some responsibility around this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I need, yeah. She like, got to slowly get yeah. responsibility. Like, you know what? And I feel like I feel like okay, if I'm in a situation where a man got it right, he right. he banking right, mm -hmm. and he's like, I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna put us up in this this place, you know this. Sky rise, you know downtown yeah, condo, whatever. I got you. I got you. Blah blah blah. I got to take care of something. Yes. Like let me let me at least get the Same. water bill. That's the cheapest shit, right? right? That's the <laughs> cheapest shit. Let me get the water because I need some leverage in this motherfucker. Right. When it try to go, <laughs> when it try to go left, I'm cutting the water off, motherfucker. Because it's like, my goddamn name. my name. You ain't taking everything from me. You, can't you gonna no feel it. Ass, can't take no shower. Bye. Right. <laughs> so this is my thing too. Like when it comes to paying the bills and shit. Like now, as I cover the mortgage, I'm covering all these bills. If your ass decide to go buy a car, that's your motherfucking bill. Okay, I I agree with that. You know I really like, do I because I feel like I want a I want the car that I want. Like yeah. I, I I'm going to get what I want. I don't want to be like you know. Okay, this man said he gonna it's buy a car for me. Yeah, yeah, he, babe, you can't have this Mercedes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm paying right. this, 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 and that. You know what? You keep on paying this, this, and that. I'm gonna go buy my Mercedes. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know right. what I'm saying? So I agree with that. So I would say mm -hmm. it's based off your situation because. If you make it fifteen dollars an hour, you get married. You can't cover every damn thing. No, you can't. That's fucking impossible. I didn't make fifteen dollars. You can't do shit. You can't do shit. I can't do me. Like baby, we barely. Might, we, we going to date this month, but the next two months we ain't going on no dates. <laughs> God damn it, like shit. You got each beanie. We, we better, better get, get, get creative at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Better get, uh, try to put a little pallet on the so floor. It, it come down to your circumstances, man, and that's what a lot of people get fucked up with. They try to talk about a nigga need to pay all these bills, but shit, is he able to pay all the bills? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you help them out? Because at the end of the day, if y'all live in the same household, it's y'all shit. So yeah. how yeah. do you want to live? You know what I'm saying? So so my thing is, if you meet a girl and she bougie, how can... So, okay. I love bougie bitches. Really? Yeah. Okay. Bitches. I'm all... You I, bougie I don't want to call them bougie 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 Ghetto queens. You want the bougie women. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I like them. Mm -hmm. Cash doll. Ca Oop. I love her. Yeah. Marry yeah. me. She... She's definitely bougetto. More have. ghetto. I don't know which one. I, I lost count. It's child doll. <laughs> Dream doll. Barbecue doll. It's just <laughs> men, them niggas, man. It's Asian bread doll? Asian. <laughs> no. I, Asian doll. Asian doll. Asian doll? Yeah, I think that's okay, it. Asian, Asian doll. doll. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Ain't nothing Asian about her though. Nah, she's black as fuck. Black as fuck. I think she's GD too. Like, nah, you can't be <laughs> oh, no gangster. Oh, duh, she though. ain't a gang? Yeah, she bang too. What? She, Dang. That's Keith Vaughn, old lady. Oh, for real? Yeah. She had a baby by him? No. no but she long no as baby. hell though. She, never mind. I don't talk about no queens. I don't tell that. She baby. long. Yeah, she like real, real skinny. Oh. She's kind of like, she's like, she might be tough. So I know she got them hands. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you I know, she did that TikTok that. Yeah, I ain't even talk. Asian doll, listen. You listening? 
<laughs> we the are best good. thing, girl. Matter you fact, good. Slide in my DMs, too. <laughs> I'll take your skinny ass. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So can a woman shoot her shot at you? Facts. It just depends what you look like. I'm going to keep it a stack. No. Bro. Nah, fuck that, man. Because it's the thing. You wouldn't go on a blind date? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Fuck no. I'm not going to no blind days. That shit be terrible, man. Because the thing about it, people trying to put you on people they think you good for you. It ain't going to be nothing the fuck you want, man. No, it really don't. Let me <laughs> tell you something. It really sucks. don't. Listen. Because sometimes. <laughs> I got a piece. about to go off. Let me, let me, hold, let me hold this because this shit been happening to me lately, man. <laughs> right? Like, motherfuckers been sending me people that I have no intention of doing shit with. Stop sending your friends to me, man, because I don't like them. You know what your friends doing? It's not my friend. It's like, it be people like I work with. They think we friends. We just associates. Don't be sending me your goddamn home, girl. She trash, they bro. Hook, they just want to hook, hook you up. What they, what they doing is they, they, they're they trying to put you with somebody that they feel is up to your standard. But that's not your standard. Hell no. I hope she did. Cause that last one What's your body type? What's your type of woman? Uh, ooh, my type of woman. I like a ooh, little he said, ooh, yeah. ooh. Nah, ooh. nah. Uh, <laughs> ooh. Uh, my body type. Um, I like them. A little slim, thick, a little curvy. It depends, man. As mm-hmm. long as you got some shape, you good. Short? Short, tall. tall. I like them all. I ah, like them okay. all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's you. My thing is, as long as you take care of yourself, you look good. Yeah. You attractive. You ain't no dirty ass girl, whatever. You good with me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you can be big, tall, short, round. Not too round. What That's about to, not too round. <laughs> what if you were around a woman that was super attractive? You got real close to her, and then you like smelled an odor. It's over. Cause your really? pH balance is off, baby. You gotta drink some more water. Just put, that, put just, it in the sunny down, man. You gotta step that shit up. Get some. Uh, what is that? Fiji. Just <laughs> some uh, core. The, 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 the essential. <laughs> get your electrolytes some together, alkaline, baby girl. Some like, alkaline you gotta water. do something better, man. You're not living right. God don't love you. You smelling like no, that, man. No, he loves them all. <laughs> we, me, me and my husband, we was talking about this female that we know <laughs> that had that does not have the best breath. And she is kind of known not to have the best breath, but she's super pretty. It's dead. I can't drink. I can't be with no girl no skunk mouth, man. It's a wrap, bro. Skunk mouth. Y'all done got me on this. I'm lit now, so if it's oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No. If your breath stain, go away. <laughs> I mean, wait. that's something that could be no, it changed. No. Yes, it can. It might it, be a bad day. She might have wore her mask too long. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so she, she might. Did she know? Method. If she wore that mask, she knows what's going on. She smelled that she shit. Might not. I ain't gonna lie. No, you can smell your breath in that mask. She might have that mask will though. humble your ass she real quick. Really it will humble you real quick. <laughs> God damn, was that my? Goddamn. <laughs> One more thing I want to ask you. Okay. Does the woman that you have to be with, the, uh, what kind of potential does she have to have? Like, what kind of potential do you want in your woman? Like, does she have to have a degree? Does she have to be, like, an entrepreneur? Okay, this is my thing. If you got a degree, you're doing well with it, that's a plus. But most time with degrees, that shit don't hit on shit now these days. Oh, so, he don't You know shit. what I'm saying? Because niggas be having master's degrees, be working at fucking Target. So if <laughs> so Not working and, at and Target, and but almost. Right. Shit. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with working at Target, but you know what I'm saying? You go to school, you're trying to work Not when you have $150,000 in student loans at. So mm-hmm. like, a uh, hustle. Because we like, ain't have a nigga paying our tuition. Right. <laughs> I put a little song down. Don't get it. Now, nah, fuck it. Gas me up. Gas yeah, me I up. Yeah, I your tuition. <laughs> Bitches, you won't help. Holler at me. Holler at me. We gonna put this information in the description. Right. Nah, but like, so, an entrepreneur, if it's a good business, like, I'm fucking with it. Like, it can't be something that ain't doing. If you can't pay your rent with your motherfucking, um... A uh, bill with your fucking hustle. Mm-hmm. I ain't fucking with it. What if she had a stupid business plan and you just and she just wanted to do it so bad? Would you support her? Yeah, I mean, cause really? I'm, a, I'm a dreamer too. Cause I be doing some bullshit. I didn't came with all <laughs> kind of shit. So if it sound good, when's your birthday? January 25th. Okay. I'm Aquarius. Mm, okay. Air, what was the air sign? I think so. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know neither. I, 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 I mean, all these moons and shit. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> but as long as you if you got a plan, my thing is. How dedicated are you to that plan? Mm-hmm. Right. Because a lot of shit not going to work. Yeah. That's true. You but just try. Just try. If you try, I'm going to keep putting that shit in. Be like, all right, baby, look, we done shit two years now. That shit got down. <laughs> yeah, you got to let that shit go, go baby. Sold, he ain't sold the last yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bitches still have lashless. And then, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I don't, honestly, man, you just had to have a drive or something. So, 
I need a woman that knows that, okay, the independent hustle didn't work, entrepreneurship didn't work. Mm-hmm. Let me go get a job and try to get this bag this way. Mm-hmm. Cause that shit ain't for everybody. It ain't. Mm-hmm. Entrepreneurs sound cool until you got to start doing all the real shit. By yourself. You, you know what work. I'm saying? That work, shit is work. different. Mm-hmm. You got to buy everything. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You got to market you know yourself. What I'm saying? And these pockets ain't that deep. I can keep helping. Right. Like, Look, baby, right there. we need to recycle some of <laughs> this shit now. They don't buy that shit. You put this shit back in the bag. I know, no, right? No. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, like, just a, so main thing to answer, just have some drive. Yeah. yeah. Degree or no degree, fuck it. Just have some drive. We're going we gonna to figure it out because I'm going to make sure you straight anyway. Yeah. It, especially as I love you. So, shit. I'm a, I would take care of my girl. So, it don't matter. <laughs> You look like you fall in love easily. I love all my women, bro. I've been in love a lot. Lord, my grandma go. told me, she said, look, son, I love a lot, I live a lot. So I took the same type of deal. Like, I love a lot, I live a lot. But i only been in two serious relationships where I really love the girls, so. Yeah. Other than I've just been side niggas and shit. <laughs> I love being a side nigga too. You, why? Why do you like to be There's the no side There's no responsibility. Nigga. That's that true. Shit. And I can just leave. You come and but, go. Well, but you know what? I, girls these days, they have a side nigga. I mean, they still expect yeah. shit from you. Like the goddamn food <laughs> <laughs> He's just the one that the the body that's I'm there. driving down and I'm dropping off the package. And I mean, if I got there. a side nigga, can you get one of these bills, nigga? I if I got, if, I, if you coming you up through something. me, you gonna get a bill. You gonna? I got you Apple. Apple bill, the Apple Music, that shit. No, no, no. Spotify, no. you can, you can get my car note. You no, can't. hell no. You better got no. You get a little small. I get your nail done. Oh no, nails one twenty. No, no. You can definitely. You can. You can do my personals every month. You can do my nails, my toes, my is, hair. That's going to be about five six hundred dollars. I said no, more, just me. Said, five oh. five six hundred. A regular, every other week, regular girl. Not, no, I don't no, get see, my hair every other week. It's a cut off the side nigga limit. We stop at three hundred. No. Yeah. No. If it ain't tricking if you got it. I ain't got it. I got ah. 300. I got th- Shit, 300 three. a lot for him, I guess. <laughs> 300 oh, hot. Cuz look. What you can do with extra $300? How much your nails cost to get done? My nails is about 80. About 80 so boom, I got that covering that 300. My toes is about 50. And still covering that 300. My hair was about 400. Yeah, call your nigga for that. <laughs> 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 That's your nigga duty. I do the minor shit, man. I'm here to, I'm your nigga. He I'm got the, he got you the ain't high saying expenses. that when you was. Bang, bop, 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 bop. I was saying, I'm your nigga. Right. I'm not your man. Right. <laughs> So yeah, see, yo, there's a, a that's clear a difference. Yo, man, handle the shit that costs too much fucking money. Um, now, a mortgage, they're a car note, they handle the guy that you have. I'm gonna be the nigga keep you good. Yeah, I'm gonna be the nigga keep you good in between time. Oh, baby, your nails kind of fucked up. Let me get you right. Whoa. Your, your feet kind of little. <laughs> hey, little tell me and then you know pay for it. I'm with it. Your edges ain't here like it's supposed to be here. So I'm gonna get you a little. A, a little set of, I don't know, a rinse or wash some shit. Little, uh, Get what you is, some edge control. Is, is, what, is, what season is it right now? It's, um, what y'all be season doing with y'all Mm-mm. It's, um, what y'all be doing with y'all hair right now? I, Braids? You, no. You no Perm uh, or something? Uh-uh. I just posted that shit Color? on my Facebook. Uh, uh, dang it. Uh, uh. Uh, what the fuck I be doing y'all hair, man? Uh, I don't know. This is coloring. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Oh. I got it. I got it. I got it. Silk press season. Silk oh. press. It's it silk is press silk. season. It I used to get silk press. It yeah, is I ain't know silk. I knew that shit. 4A, yep. 4B, 4C. <laughs> all right. Tights, I okay. know all that. Okay. <laughs> okay, women. More of the story. Mr. Mister Man over here. Mr. Bad Therapist over Hustle here. Porter. Okay, problematic Donnell. He got you. What where problematic Donnell come from? I, I be some problematic ass shit. Cause I don't care what I say, and I'm gonna say it anyway. And um, we what appreciate if, it. As long as you gonna think with me, if you gonna like me, you gonna love me. That's how I am. Cause I'm gonna say that shit. And, you know. and hey, it's life is short. You gotta be who you are. If that's who you are, you you wanna say it's pop your shit, then pop your shit. Live your truth. Yep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pop your shit, nigga. Tell people where to find you. Okay, so listen. I'm everywhere. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. Facebook is Problematic Donnell. Instagram, I am Hustle Porter, H-U-S-S-L-E underscore Porter. And then my Instagram for my podcast is um, D underscore Bad Therapist. And on Twitter, it go down on Twitter. Y'all got Twitter? <laughs> We yeah, do. Please. I gotta get Twitter, more. Twitter, reckless. really. Yeah. I, everybody tell reckless. me that, but I, I mean, reckless. social media reckless. is so much. To it's so keep up much. With. To keep so up with. On, on Twitter, I'm bankrupt trick daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm supporter. bankrupt trick daddy. I'm <laughs> supporter. Okay. I'm weak. I'm t- look what they say. Bankrupt, bankrupt trick daddy. And I want some more followers, so you know what I'm saying. Holler at me. I'm everywhere. My podcast comes out when I drop them. 
I don't have no scheduled date, but you know, I'm gonna be more consistent soon. It's bad therapy with the bad therapist. I'm on Apple, Spotify, Google, any way you consume your platform. I All mean, consume your podcast. We, we there. Yeah, we're going to put your information in our description. Mm-hmm. And for yeah. us, you could find us at Two Dope Girls Pod on IG, Twitter, mm-hmm. um, Facebook, mm-hmm. and on YouTube, Two Dope Girls Podcast. And you can yep. find me at Grace Face with two underscores. And you can find me at Naturally Pretty. And until next week, you guys. Two Dope Girls out. Dope Girls. Dope, 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 dope Girls. 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 Dope, dope Girls.